day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, I hope you will enjoy this video that we did on the 7th of June. Uh, we're addressing the, the situation going on now, we're dealing with the, uh, the, the protests uh, and the Black Lives Matter movement. And I'm gonna tell you something, I'm seeing that it is, it is taking root across this country, it's taking root across this world. And some people may sit there and say, well, well, why does this, this Black Lives Matter? Well, the point is, is, is the people, if a certain element or group of people are the ones that's being uh, abused out of the lives of everybody, then we need to make sure they understand that, that all of us, inclusively, whether you're black or white, all lives matter. And those people who feel like some lives don't matter because of the color of their skin, or some people sit there and, and think that some people's lives doesn't matter because you feel they are a threat. And when you ask yourself why they are a threat, you gotta sit there and say, uh, is, is trying to hurt them, trying to be abusive. If you sit there and try to call everybody a criminal based on the color of their skin, then that, that's gonna be a problem. And it's gonna be God's problem. And most people don't understand, it's not for us in the, in the Black Lives Movement, when people are not looking for uh, justice from from the people who try to, to be abusive. We're really looking to God who will bring justice. And, and I think that's very important for the people who are operating with aggressiveness and feel they're justified because you know, there's a stereotype that exists and that stereotype means go ahead and, and, and be fearful and respond to these people because of what we perceive them to be as a threat or some kind of thing to fear be fear of. And you gotta ask yourself, where that fear come from? When people sit there and try to obey the law, where that fear come when somebody, if, if, if everybody uh, has speeding tickets, and everybody have had them, to include police officers. Do we have to approach somebody with violent force? I mean, there's a situation I remember in Arizona where a little girl uh, took a dollar doll and, and, and the cops came out gang busting on the family. You had a young couple with young children, pull the man out, slam him through the car, spread his legs and hurt his leg had the gun out, telling the wife who had a baby, put your hands up. And she said, I got a baby in my hand. Put your hands up and got the gun out. You ask yourself, is that so normal? <laughs> you think, I mean, come on now, where's that justifiable? So God is sitting there saying, man, look, we have to change. And we have to understand it's a time to change. And one of the things about this study we was talking about, is it, 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 it such with some of you? This is a scripture we use. This is First Corinthians, six, chapter six, verse nine to eleven. Know ye not that the unrighteousness, the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetousness, nor drunkard, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you are washed, but you are sanctified, but you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. Whether you black or white, you gotta understand who is it that I'm getting approval for? Who is I'm responding for? Who am I serving? I'm serving people who operate in fear or do I serve people who operate in faith? Do I serve God? So remember that. So if we go into this study, that's the approach we're looking at. What are we doing? Amen? All right, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time, amen? All right, bye-bye. Father God, thank you for having allowed us to assemble here today. 
open our hearts and our minds up to receive your word, a greater understanding of the word. Lord, transform us this day, improve us, cause us to become even more perfect images of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whose image we are being transformed into. Let this word begin to mold our hearts, Lord God, to shape our soul and our spirit, that people might see you in us, see you working through us, and be drawn to you and receive eternal life, even as we have received it. This day, Father God, we offer a prayer for those who are not yet they're here, and we pray soon that they will join us. We pray you keep them, Lord God, and we thank you for the praise report of young lady Sabrina getting better. And we know you're able, and so we pray that you strengthen us even this day to do that work even more. So these things I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You know, the reason I wanted to uh, get in the prayer first and continue, really continue on what we're talking about, is that the power of peaceful protest the power uh that that separates the the violence you know what i mean you know the people that were violent was was distorting the message but the people who are continuing to stay peaceful is 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 making it a worldwide movement you know and and one of the scriptures to start off with right. we had it we had it before and i want to add this show it again is the uh this one right here y'all can see it right yeah first okay. Corinthians 6 9. yes sir go ahead and read that uh brother jackson all right let me let me get my thing out here out of the way all right know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of god be not deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers, nor impotent, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. Amen. Amen. Man, I, you know, just just to, 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 to bring that in focus of what we just finished talking about, is when, when the use of, of looting uh, was brought in the mix, when, 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 when it, you know, the, I guess you're talking about, you got thieves, uh, you have revel, revelers and valors, uh, abusers, uh, of themselves with mankind you know destroying your own neighborhoods and everything it it was it was it was not being or it was trying to drown the message right right and and and, and what i saw is just like with models of king days and and malcolm x the the ones that fall in that category in nine and ten the ones that were successful are the ones that operated bad fruit, meaning, hey, we can do more through love. We can do more through peace. We, we, we can get the kingdom. And Elder Johnson, what I'm saying is, when they operate within the kingdom's way, God's way, there's more impact. There's greater impact. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And you're seeing it, you're seeing it, I mean, you see it, it resonates throughout the whole world now. Because nobody's trying to, to tear up stuff and destroy stuff anymore. And like you said, uh, Brother Jackson, maybe some people actually got the message. Uh -huh. that, that, that some of them, you know, stop destroying your own neighborhood because that ain't going to do nothing for you anyway. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but I do like the fact this man is just, you can see when you go God's way, you have a greater impact. Then you try to go the flesh way. Right. The flesh way was dealing with extortion. The flesh way was dealing with uh, uh, looting and burning. You know, and, and in one case, you sit there and say, you know, as, as, uh, as African-Americans, 
And I'm talking really about the, uh, uh, maybe those based on their living conditions, and maybe not, could be all the way around. But the point is, as long as you operate and 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 the flesh you're gonna you're gonna get negative results from the kingdom you know what i mean I think it's fruit. I do. And, and 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 so you're seeing the difference you know the fruits of the spirit love joy peace long suffering gentleness come on man goodness you know faithfulness or faith faithfulness you know self-control you know? yeah. self-control the people who's not riding are operating under self-control. They're bearing fruit. And because they're bearing fruit, now we're getting a different result. Matter of fact, if you look at the when when I when I talk about the, the when the president went out to, to go to that church, Elder, you, you saw it whoever came up with that idea to clear those people out. They went into the flesh to do that, mm -hmm. right? Right. And, and and it did not resonate. It, it 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 did not paint the picture I think somebody was trying to paint. Uh, that's why when the person was holding up the Bible and and somebody even called and said it was holding it upside down. <laughs> it 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 did not. That in other words, the kingdom of God did not respond to that. That, that had little impact dealing with the kingdom of God. And anybody that's actually been, what you call it, uh, supporting that behavior, they're not going to get the kingdom of God's results. And even the police force right now, I, you lo I love some of those police officers that sit there and kneel it down. Uh, right. Some of them hug some of the, uh, the, the, the protesters or the uh, uh, yeah, the protests and so forth. Uh, so I walked with them. Did you see that? Some of yes. us walked in there. It resonates. In other words, it's saying this is the way we're supposed to be. Yeah. As, as a country, as a nation coming together, there's people having a heart for what happened and they right. see it. You know, it's almost like elder Vietnam. It's almost like that. When, when, when we start seeing what was happening on TV, in Vietnam, the, the, the call yeah. for saying, no, yo, we got to get out of this one. This ain't, nah, this ain't anointed. This is not, this is not us. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you know, and if the, the police, like you were saying, going back to them, the, you know, their sincere actions uh, helps with the healing process. And it's very interesting that, uh, to me, that, that that's just not recognized automatically you, you know um you you have to humble yourselves you have to own your errors your mistakes uh, even if you operated in a way that you thought you should recognizing the fact that it it caused pain that you uh may or may not have intended but you know now in hindsight that that's wrong um you know that helps with the healing process not just with the family but you know with the, with the community and right now uh, it's it's a it's a global community that uh, has felt it, yes. and um, the those who have not yet gotten it, uh, you know, it, it it it's not only a shame, but it goes to show how uh, how much work needs to be done, you know, in humanity. Yes. and um, and and what that gap is between you know as far as us operating in the spirit right and, and and you're you're so right you know operating in the spirit is the way that we need to go and and do this exactly mm -hmm. yeah i think that's he what was, you're the, the word said that, the word said that the, uh he was souls to the flesh of the flesh reap corruption but he was souls to the spirit of the spirit reap life everlasting he talks about the kingdom of god being an everlasting kingdom Yes. And the construct of it is that way. It still is an equitable distribution of power. The right. application of power and resources is perfect. Right. It really is perfect. And, and that is the pattern that we, the members of the kingdom of God, are supposed to be showing to the world so that we can draw them out of that system into the kingdom of God. Right. We right. realize that we can't, even we cannot maintain that posture or that, uh, that, that behavior 
without the intervention of God himself. Uh -huh. Because what Kenneth would say often, and we get it eventually, uh, when Jesus said, I come that you might have life and that more abundantly, what did we have before? We had death. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what did we manifest? We manifested death. So once we are saved and we get the spirit of God living inside of us, the life of God is now flowing in and through us and is manifested through our behaviors. Right. So those behaviors that were shown this weekend mimic the kingdom of God to an extent that it was, I mean, even I was happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, men, America looked good this weekend. The right. only person that we had on the, you know, questionable the side of it was the, our, our, our leader. Yeah. He is yet to, I uh, think him having the Bible upside down was kind of negative where he really stands. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think the, uh, the same thing as far as the, the, uh, the, the police force uh, in our country. In other words, as long as we operate oh, outside yeah. of the kingdom's way, we're going to get results that we don't want. We, we get a results of where people uh, uh, overpopulation in prison system. Uh, we, we, we're getting people shot the way, you know what I mean? In other words, if you're trying to do it by force, you're not achieving, you're not getting the results that you want. Because the question is, what results do you want? Right? That's the question, isn't it? Yeah, it is a question. And I think that's determined by whether or not you remember the kingdom or you remember the, uh, the world system, you know? Right. In other well, words, if you, if, if you want to continue to oppress people, yeah. That's right. If you, it's, you go ahead. About, we, we're going to dominate the streets. Dominate. Yeah, you know, I'm going to use my force to cause you to do what I want you to do or what I think you should be doing. Uh -huh. That's the mentality that he had when he wanted to take us back to uh, make America great again. Yeah, America was made great in accordance with what he's thinking and his, his line of thought by annihilating all the Native Americans. I mean, we committed genocide. And it was, it, I mean, the country was thumping through genocide and the enslavement of another population of people and then the maltreatment of every other subculture that was in it. Right. So to return America to its former greatness is to actually return to barbarism. Like, it really is. They were barbaric. They were these people were vicious. Yeah. And that is what he inspires in his constituency. He inspires them to act like barbarians, to act like savages, to do everything that they were doing before and do it again. So it's showing a lack of repentance. You know, he wasn't, and what our job, I would think, as members of the kingdom of God is to get people to turn away from them behaviors because that's not the ones that Jesus Christ the Nazareth inspired us to do. Exactly. And they don't work. They really don't work. I, I wondered about, because Jesus is called the Lord of hosts, right? Right. Which he, he will fight if he has to fight. But it's not the preference of God to employ violence because he wouldn't let David build the, t the temple, the sanctuary. He wouldn't let him build the synagogue, the temple for him, because he said he had too much blood on his hands. He was a man of war. Uh-huh. And so God, our God, the God that we serve, if you serve an Odin or somebody like that, it might be a different story. But the God that we serve does not hold warfare in high regard, apparently. Come on now. What, what other thing, too, that I'm still saying is that the when Israel turned it back on God, they, they didn't prosper, right? That's right. When they, when they moved back toward the things of God, then they prosper. We're saying the same thing with this country, or and let's not call our country. We, 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 if we're espousing to be great again, the only way we're going to be great again or be great Thank is you. to hold God high. Amen, man. You know what I mean? And I think that's possible. Yes. Uh, uh, I, I honestly believe that America is in a great position right now, and regardless of what we think of her at this point, or anybody else thinks of her, she's still politically, economically, and militarily the most powerful nation on the planet. Right. Our leadership right now is questionable, but our innate, I mean, the, 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 the situation that we stand economically in rest is still the greatest nation on the planet. Yeah. Those resources are available for the usage of the Lord Jesus Christ to distribute them not only in our country in an equitable manner, but abroad. Uh -huh. We have people who are members of the body of Christ that are actually being persecuted, that are suffering 
that right. we could provide solace to if we managed our money correctly. Exactly. So we stopped hoarding. Obviously, somebody's got an oversupply of cash because look at the amount of money you're able to pay people for not even going to work. Come we're on, man. This amount of money to stay home for these many days. <laughs> we're going to be able to do that. And even Trump himself uh, mentioned that. He said we were in such great shape that we could dispense this kind of money for this kind of people. The economy was great. The company's always been in that shape. Right. But the money's always been there, but it's just the distribution of it. Hey, Brother Addison. And under uh, the, the leadership of the Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> under his leadership, we would do things the right way. And right. people would be better off across the board. Right. But I think <laughs> God is allowing us. Go ahead. He's allowing us the opportunity to see what it looks like when the world runs it, when men run it, and when he runs it. And when we do it his way, man, you can't, you don't get no better than that, really. And those guys really seem to be following that lead the other day. And I, I pray God that we can inspire people to continue to do that. You know, and the thing about it, though, the the uh, the image, once again, if we say that being strong or even being great, God is great. You know what I mean? But is is how we portray ourselves. Is what makes a difference, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. I mean, How, yeah. a mother is great, but she a mother is great, but she washes her baby's butt, feeds them. She had the power to take them, slam them across the room. If she wanted to just to hurl them across the room and kill them. She had that power. But right. her greatness is not ex expressed. The father is great, but right. our greatness is not expressed in destruction. It's expressed in our ability to uplift and edify. That's which is wicked than we are. Come on, brother. And, and that is how the, the kingdom is built like that. Yeah. You know, another thing I noticed that if if uh, we want to sit there and try to, uh, uh, <clears throat> like you said, take leadership, moral leadership, then when we try to say being strong, looking strong, and looking strong means being violent, being uncaring, then, then that's, not gonna, that's not God's way. Right, dominate. You think you're dominated by force, but you're looking bad. You're looking, you, you're, you're not operating in the love. Brother Addison, you just came in. We was trying to sit there and talk about, we, we first read the scriptures earlier, uh, dealing with, uh, matter of fact, I just want to show it to him, and then I'm going to go to the other one next. Um, we start off with this one, Brother Addison. We, we, we used the one before, we had before, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, verse 9. And 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 in that case, what we're saying is the fact is the difference between the unrighteous and the righteous inheriting the kingdom of God. And we're not talking about, as Elder was just talking about, we're not talking about the kingdom of heaven. We're not talking about being in heaven. We're talking about the kingdom of God is at hand now. And it's talking about the system that comes along with God. And we're talking about how the protests the, the, the movement of Black Lives Matter is going worldwide and the effectiveness is because you, just, you see less of the looting, less of the uh, rioting, <laughs> and more of the peaceful protest is, giving, is resonating more throughout the world, you know? And a matter of fact, it puts anybody that wants to be heavy handed, anybody in the police force, anybody in the government that try to be heavy handed, and try to look at it as, hey, I'm going to make Antifa, for example, a terrorist group. I'm going to, to, to call all them thugs. When, when, when you, you see, Brother Jackson, I know the fact is that even when somebody was trying to label people as terrorists or label people as thugs, when, when it does not resonate when the people do not act according to the label that's given to them. Right. You know that? <laughs> I mean, they try to call <laughs> Jesus a sinner. But it didn't resonate. Amen. In his Amen. behavior, huh? Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to say, people, uh, in because you know we talk about how applying in our everyday life, right, Brother Jackson? I mean, that's always been our central theme: how to apply God's way, God's word, how to understand that in in, in our everyday life. Is the fact is that we do it by His way. You mm -hmm. can protest. You can disagree, but you don't have to go out of the flesh and disagree. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can sit there and say, I, I don't agree with that. And because of that, I'm not going to participate in that. 
So I'm gonna right. I'm gonna I'm gonna operate in another method. I'm gonna operate in another way. So so brother, as we read this first Corinthian, we're saying is know ye not. And see, brother, that's what I'm trying to put um point out, brother Jackson, is, is this know ye not that they are righteous, those who have the behavior that is unrighteous, meaning not in the right standing of God, shall not inherit the kingdom of God, shall not inherit the blessings of God, shall not inherit the favor of God in the things that they do if they operate in the flesh. Right. And, and he said it, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor feminists, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves that looting, nor covetousness, nor drunkard, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. You see, mm -hmm. this God is trying to tell us something. I'm showing you the difference between what is successful when he's involved and what's not successful when we put it in the flesh. Right. And one of the things is that this, uh, uh, who read last anyway? Uh, I did. You did? Brother Jackson. Okay, so bro brother uh, Elder Johnson, this is this is uh, this is yours, man. This this fits right in here. You, we get, you know, brother Jackson. As we read this, this is First Corinthians thirteen, is and we're gonna read that whole uh, chapter. Uh, we we can, you know, we can kind of dissect it as we read it. You know what I mean? Amen. But but if I'm lying, we're trying to tell people that's listening to this uh, Bible study is that. Love is far more effective than operating in the flesh. Right. So you can disagree. See, I think, you know, maybe, Brother Jack, sometimes some people are thinking that you're supposed to be passive uh, and, 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 and indifferent and allow people to walk over you. And, and God has said, no, I'm, I'm not asking you to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, let me let me send something to, uh, one second. Um, well, while, while you're doing that, you know the thing about love too is is that, that love is an action. It's an action yeah. verb, not just a noun. Um, come on, brother. Come on. Love, as we are have come to know and and understand, is also of the spirit, which is is uh, of God, and we operate uh, against our flesh actually what our flesh may may tell us to do we recognize that that may not be the righteous way to go about things and if we want to please god if we want to serve god we have to serve others uh we you know even in a situation where we recognize the anger uh -huh. uh, you know because we were we ourselves were all angry yeah. But we also know that to go out and to destroy and to take revenge is not what we're supposed to do. It's not. And so, uh, yeah, and, and, and not only that, but when we operate in love, what happens is, is the individuals who are against uh, God, really ultimately, um, they themselves uh, recognize eventually that they are condemning themselves. Uh, their, their, their argument holds no... Uh, no weight, and yeah. you know, eventually they feel remorse. They 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 better, <laughs> you know. Come on, now. Come on. And and so uh, you know, you're right. It's just it has a it's such a tremendous uh, influence and impact when we operate in love that others who would otherwise uh, and and may even be blind yeah. to what's going on because you know they they've taken a particular uh, argument or have a particular opinion they themselves sometimes are persuaded by uh, love. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah.